the next is going to be the button here and in this button we are going to create a button called we're going to call it footer button so that's what is going to be called and folder button dot that and here as you can see in this button um though this doesn't have any state here but we are going to have some kind of a loading indicator in and some other things maybe we might want to disable the button we might want to show a different color or something like that so this button will have a state so let's create that and we are going to use an enum to create that state so we are going to create it as enum and we are going to call it button state so here in this state we'll have a list of state for our button and this will first is going to be ideal ideal that means it's just um the initial um um states the next is going to be uh let's say loading states and let's say disabled states and let's say um, what other other states we might want to give it okay let's leave it here let's leave it at this three ideal loading and disabled so we're going to create it as a stateful widget here so with my vs code i can be able to auto generate code like this so i'm going to call this um, um footer button and i'm going to import the material um, package here and what we are going to have in this um in this we are going to have um, some parameters that we are going to be passing in like in this button you can see it has color and some of the colors are gradients some of the colors are just and um, plain colors and it has a title and some has some icons here so all of this we are going to take a look at it and build according to that so let's say the first is going to be the title of the button which is going to be a string and the second here is going to be is going to be the um this text style of the title button uh, or the title text so it's going to be style title let's call it title style in case we want to and um, maybe we want to change the color of the the text we want to maybe give it a different font size or whatever i want to do and this will take a type called text style so that's what this is going to take and the next is going to be um so we are going to have a default one so here we can just make this um nullable so we we'll have a default one if the user if we provide any other um title size and um, style we are going to use that then so the next is going to be the button state we have here the button state we have here and this is going to be called states and and we are going to have another one here uh, and that is going to be the um um the leading icon this is going to be a widget um and this is going to be called leading icon and this is just what is leading here this icon and this is also going to be nullable this could be in this just like you can see here you cannot see um any icon here but in this you see this icon so um that is how it's going to be we are going to have the leading icon and we are going to have a color so we are going to have a um gradient color so let's say gradient gradient color so this is going to be a list of colors and this as well could be null as well but we are going to have a default um, color this is as well could be null, and we are going to just have a plain color so we just call this plain color or we can do like this we can actually um get um color from here maybe we can just pass a single color here and we use that as a plain color so let's leave it there let's just call this gradient and always pass in or we don't we don't pass in at all so what else here we are going to do is um let's see what the properties are okay let's build with this so we are going to um generate the constructor here and um let's see here and make some of i don't know if you guys can see this properly let me increase it and the title here is going to be required and the state here is going to be required or let's keep this not required but let's have a default button state for this and which is going to be ideal button states as ideal and we are going to use that 
so you can see here we have this nice border radius and everything so let's start building and we are going to use the container widget to have this to build this and also here every button has a callback that means um if you should click on a button it's going to re re release an event so we are going to wrap this around a an inkwell so we can use that um event so here here and your widget and here in the inkwell we are going to um have this on tap and here in the on tap we are going to also declare a new parameter here called function and this is going to um be this could be null as well and we are going to have it as on tap and we are going to um require this let's require this and let's pass it in here so this is going to be widget dot on tap to get it and write and next thing we are going to do is we are going to have an an height so i think the height we are going to use is from here let's see the height we are using here is 50 let's use that as height I, we can just make that in our in our team called button height and button height and here in the button height we can just no that's not create it in our team class now in the team class here we can just have it as 50 let's just follow the design and here is going to be a constant and it's going to be a double and i'll save that and go back to this and here we are going to have this decoration and in our decoration here is going to take in a box decoration and in the box decoration here we are going to have um we're going to have a we're going to have linear gradient and that'll be gradient and we're going to have the linear gradient here so so we're going to pass in the colors here and we'll do something we'll do something here if the gradient here is um not the length of this list is not greater than um one and we shouldn't we should just use a plain color so let's do that let's use that logic gradient and if the length the length is um greater than one that's when we will use this and else we are not going to use that we're going to pass in this as no so so let's not make this to be um sh let's not make that let's see if we can actually pass default list here okay we can't do that okay let's make that make let's make it this way and let's make sure that if this is no if the gradient is no we should also return no so if this is no and let's return it as no and let's use the exclamation mark here and let's use this as a group okay so here we are going to pass in the we are going to um have a default color here and this is going to be default default color and and in our default color is going to be a list of colors and you can see here in this color we have this um color red and also this um blue or i think it's kind it looks kind of the dark one just increase the brightness of my screen and i think that is it um yeah is this blue so i'm going to have this as a um, team app team as i'm going to have this as red okay let's have the blue force the dark blue and next we are going to have the the red so we are going to use that default color i'm going to use that default color here i'm going to pass in the default color here else if um this 
um let's see okay let's just pass in this default column build with this and i'll write more of the logic on on that so what next we have here is the border radius so let's have a border radius and the border radius will need i think it needs to be all border radius so it's going to be circular and we are going to use 99 here and the next is going to be the the child of this and the child of this is going to be a row and in this row you can see that um here you can see um you can see here in this that this can also have uh, another widget here like an icon so we need to pass in the row so here we are going to set um the row as main as this alignment as um center so this what this does is going to center whatever widget we pass inside the row um the list here so the the widget we are going to pass here first is the text and in this text here we will have the title and that will be widget dot title and the next we are going to have um the next we are going to have is let's see one thing here let's see one thing here um let's use the state here and see what we can do here what we can do here we are just going to check if um if the state is equals to widget state here is equals to button state as loading we should show a different widget here and we should show the circle progress indicator and we should not just show it we should show it in a center widget now this will center this in the middle so if we may, maybe we do some click events here and we change the button state to loading this should have a loading indicator so that was that's going to do i think let's just and um, preview this on our on our screen and see how that goes so i'm going to go to the main dot that and i'm going to preview this here i'm going to call it and i'm going to call the on tab and also call the title and this is going the title i'm going to call it um, what let's call it sign in and let's run that okay um let's center this here center mm. okay in our app scaffold i think we are not done with that and you can see here the body that we have not passed in anybody here here in our container um in our container we have child here so let's pass in the body as a child and you can see this that we have signed in here and but things are not um out very clear so let's go back to our footer button and let's see what is wrong there we have we have the default color here and what we just do is for us not to be misleading let's just remove this and test with this okay as you can see it's coming up it's coming up nice and fine and we can just change where the location of each of this color are and see it's i think yeah this is this look good and what we'll do here now is for us to pass in the style and we'll use this from our team um our team widgets team of context and this will go directly to our app team and get the co the exact color we need the exact style we need and this will get the button style so from here we'll get the text team and from here we'll get the um, button style um let's see the button style here and you can, so you can see the this is all coming up these are all coming up okay let's test one more thing here in the main and let's see in the main maybe we have um, a state here uh, let's call this and um, button states button state and let's add in loading and you can see this loading indicator coming up so we are going to make this nice and we are always going to be cleaning this so it looks like the exact design we are um, doing so what else we are going to do here it's the um it the leading here the leading icon so in the button and um, widget here we have this row and here and here in the button we can just have this if statement that's 
is widget if row leading icon is null if this icon is null um okay if it's not null so that's what we'll do and if it's not null we are going to show um we are going to pass in this widget and this is going to be wrapped with a padding and the padding is going to be const age insert and we are going to use only um right and this is going to come from our app team and from here we'll get the element spacing and we'll get half of that element spacing and pass in the child here and here we'll just have this and let's see this on the main and see how this goes let's have the leading icon here and we'll just have an icon and we can just call this maybe let's see if there is any key see if there's facebook icon here okay so i think it's coming up it's for us to just give it color let's give it a color called let's give it a color white yeah you can see you can see that i'll go back to that widget and what i'm going to do here is I'm going to decrease the to 25 percent of it and i think this is coming up as we wanted as we want as we want so what else we are going to do and um, is um the next thing we are going to do here is um let's see if a user pass in a color on its own let's change the color let's change the color so let's see and if this is if the gradient here the gradient here is not null gradient here is not null is not null let's pass the gradient which is the widget dot gradient so let's use this okay yeah let's use this syntax and we'll just get that and also here we'll check one more thing and if the length of if the length of this if the length of this is greater than one that's when we'll use this linear gradient and if else this is not we'll just pass in now here and let's see this is less than um if the length here let's get the color and if the length of this default um color is less than um two is less than two we should just um get okay we are actually um checking this from zero and one so um one two yeah let's see and let's just get the first and else we keep this as no so that's what we are going to do let's check this on the ui and let's call this gradient and let's pass in a just a single color black okay you see it's black and let's pass in a single color red it's red let's pass in two colors and up team and let's pass in maybe blue let's pass in blue uh let's pass in okay dark blue just the same let's pass in purple i can see it's all all coming up it's all nice and let's pass in orange okay you can see so like this button has this orange and red let's um, try to get that effect so just paste this here and save you can see we have gotten that same button here and we can just uh just the same thing so that's how we are going to um build each of this widget and we are going to use it on our flute application and the next what we are going to do i'm going to show you how to um use this um widget the um paint and um, widget here on our flutter app so we can build the home screen for this so if you're watched to this point thank you so much and if you're not a subscriber to the channel i'd like you to be a subscriber hit the subscribe button hit the bell button